hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well i hope you're fine i still have a cough and a flu but i'm okay <laughs> yeah and um, i hope you are enjoying yourselves you're enjoying your life today i'm going to be talking about planning a wedding on a budget it's going to be a mix of a lot of things you know planning the wedding how i planned mine how i got away with some things and the real is going to be very real and going, going to be very honest as well. So I really hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel so that I can grow. Yes. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. So when it comes to planning a wedding in Ghana, in Africa, it's not as easy as people make it seem. I mean, for some of us, it's a very difficult thing. <laughs> yes if you come from a large family like mine things can get very hectic quickly because everybody has a decision to make for you and everybody wants what they think will work for you but at the end of the day you should realize that it's actually what you and your husband want it's not about anybody you know so um, I'm going to do this and also be sharing tips on how you can save some money and also be sharing you know stories about my planning as well so i'll start with my planning so for me it was a bit hard because believe it or not i have i had saved for my wedding i had saved for my wedding but things um and trials came knocking here and there so money had to go into places where it, it wasn't planned you know i don't know if you know but prior to my wedding I got re really sick I got very very sick and I had to be at home for a while <coughs> sorry so you know me taking care of myself and all of those things sort of went into my budget for the wedding so yeah things were not easy but really at the end of the day like I said it's just about restructuring knowing what to take out and what you can keep and finding affordable options so I'm going to start with decor for me like I've, i said in the previous video decor was very simple i wanted something very simple to go with i didn't want anything difficult and you know hectic here and there so i wanted a garden i wanted the flowers i wanted the good music good food and you no know, nothing very expensive to be honest so I got my friend Irama and I spoke to her that girl this is it I'm getting married and she was very excited and I told her that but I'm on a budget <laughs> you know I'm on a budget so she was like okay so how many people and I told her that this number of people and she's like okay I'm gonna you know come up with like a cost estimate for you and all of that so she did all of that and she came back with a cost estimate. I've forgotten the original cost, but it wasn't above 8,000, you know. So already it was a relief for me because I felt like she's somebody I can work with because she understood what I told her initially, you know, that I'm on a budget. Very important, I'm on a budget. It's like everybody's on a budget, but yes, I was on a budget, you know. So I met with her my husband to go over the cost estimate she had prepared for us and we decided to take some things out you know i don't know about you but i'm not really fussy about some things so i think i took out um under plates you know those are the like the little little things that drain like <laughs> that suck the money you know out of you so we made sure that we took out quite a number of things i've forgotten exactly what because on the day when we're supposed to be taking out things, I was playing with Irama's son, Brian. And so I had divided attention because I was so much in love with Brian. I was playing with Brian and I left my husband to do the whole deduction. Yes, I'm that kind of person, you know. So she went through with my husband. They took out what they felt was not um, needed. And um, once in a while, I'll put in my opinions then yes we were good to go on that so i think we came around to either six or seven okay for everything actually everything i mean everything which for me 
was a cool deal because in Ghana, you not now the rate at which weddings are going, you're not even going to find um, an affordable option like that. Trust me, like girl, the weddings that are going on on Instagram, if you look at that, then you must be looking at possibly something higher than even 20,000. I will not kid you, you know, but always stick to your budget and always find their options i say that if you are not comfortable with what vendor one gives you move on to vendor two to figure out what they also have for you because you may never know who actually would fit exactly into your budget so that was it for decor um for me you know and to be honest Charlie, i wasn't that rich <laughs> i wasn't that rich so i didn't i didn't really have enough money to go and be Charlie doing big girl things, you know. Then we got to food. For food, thankfully, for the engagement, my mom handled it. Bless her soul. Amen. <laughs> yes, my mom handled food for the engagement because, yes, I'm her last child, and also because she was going to invite all her squad. So that is this. That is the thing with African weddings and African parents and african moms 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 they would invite the whole world even people they are not talking to <laughs> they would invite i i, I you know and you know the funny thing i told her that look i really wanted a very small engagement so that everything and everybody can attend the wedding but it didn't happen that way you know when it was time for the engagement, gosh, 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 the number of people, the number of aunties and uncles that I hadn't seen in years were all there, you know, her colleagues from work, her friends from our former neighborhood, like people that go way back to when I was five. All attended this engagement I was shook <laughs> you know I was like where are all these people coming from <laughs> woman I thought I thought we had a plan but because she handled the food I didn't really have a problem with that so we sorted out the drinks and souvenirs as well and um, so for food you know alternatively if you cannot afford the food find someone who can help you you know it could be your mom your auntie anybody who can you know take up that cost it also helps you know when there are people who can take up such costs for such things um so my food was sorted out like i said on both ends so for the wedding i was grateful to have my mother-in-law sort me out on the food as well god bless her so Mwah! i love her <laughs> yes yeah, so she sorted out the food as well and we are eternally grateful for that so that cost was also off, 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 off. It wasn't off. Um, for the wedding, my idea for the menu was basically rice dishes. I have a thing for people who go to weddings and eat banku and soupy, soupy dishes. Like, I'm like, soupy dishes should never be served at weddings. I don't know about you, but it's my opinion. I'm, I don't understand why you would come to someone's wedding to eat fufu and live soup. No, <laughs> you know I've always had this analogy. Like I don't understand. If it's if it's, if it's an engagement, that's fine. You know you can go and do all of those things, tools of and all of those things. But I feel like for wedding, it's something that the couple is in a hurry to leave. You know it should be very quick, quick and snappy. Let's have rice dishes. I told my husband that look, for me I wanted rice dishes only, rice dishes. You know and. I didn't get like I the, the the I think the caterer added banku. I saw one or two people eating banku in tilapia, you know. But if I had handled that with her, I'd have told her rice dishes. And yes, about the food too. So a night before the wedding, I panicked. I felt like nah, the crowd would have would be massive um, on both ends actually for the engagement and for the wedding. So for the engagement, I arranged with my sister to get the agbeli kanklu, you know like the plantain chips and all those things. Those things help to re reduce the pressure, you know, on the food. And it, it was actually a hit. 
people it was a hit like people had it and they were happy with it and they also went ahead to eat the food as well <laughs> yeah yeah you know but it helped it really helped um with that as well so for the wedding i ordered extra jollof rice just in case there was an overflow and the food was not enough but you know that's the thing with weddings it, it will trick you you know it's something i i actually felt like i shouldn't have done because there was enough food for everybody we had to take the jollof back home to my mom's so that they figure it out i think they ate it for like the next well or two weeks <laughs> don't mind me don't mind me yes um so for souvenirs for souvenirs um for the engagement i went to accra with my girls so that was the thing I, although i didn't have time i made sure that all my saturdays were being used for something so on a saturday i would wake up really early dress very shabbily and go to accra because one thing about accra is you don't want to go there looking like a slave queen if you go there looking like a slave queen you're going to be priced according to how you are dressed so i dress very shabbily and i went to accra i am for the engagement i gave out all sorts of things i gave out like i, I don't even remember i think i gave out mags i gave out bowls i gave out uh, i bought i bought actually face towels um some hand sanitizers sorry i don't know why i've forgotten but yeah i'm naturally a very forgetful person um hand sanitizers and some petty petty stuff you know i didn't buy one thing because i didn't want everything to look the same i bought paper bags for my husband's family another bag for my family and the thing with guys is they don't like small gifts you know so for my husband's family i got them like ceramic yes i remember i got them ceramic bowls from palace shopping mall you know no, before you crucify me the amazing thing is palace shopping malls ceramic bowls are actually very affordable i'm talking four cities five cities six cities kind of ceramic bowls that's great very adorable i have some in the kitchen as well like i had to even go back to buy more you know the bowls are very affordable, so we bought a lot of it from Palace Shopping Mall. I remember I went with my sister-in-law to do that. That day, the rain beat us mercilessly. <laughs> you know, we forgot to the shopping mall, but we spent like two hours trying to find the best, trying to source the best products um, for the engagement. And um, I think I bought mugs as well from Accra. <coughs> that I paid like, um, I think a mug. I went with a few. I think a mug was like three CD, so we bought is that fifty or hundred pieces of that as well. Then the face towels, so we bagged them differently, you know, bags for my husband's family. Then my my people, we give them bowls. My sister bought bowls as well to add. And you see, the thing with guys is they like such things like bowls and buckets, you know, aguani, <laughs> big things basically. So they're also very happy with their gifts. And everybody was happy. My aunties that came also brought souvenirs. Wow. So, because I, I realized, Charlie, they were sharing the souvenirs for the engagement. And the souvenirs were not, you know, they were not finished. Because what I had budgeted for was like 100, you know, pieces. But, you know, I, I saw people were like, these nice cane pouches. I'm like, I know I didn't buy that. So, where is that coming from? You know, I saw like other things. Apparently, my aunties came with souvenirs as well that they gave out thank god for them as well so you see those are the little little things that help you and help the whole process because Charlie, without them i feel like it would have been hectic not everybody would have got something for the engagement especially so i think the number for the engagement was 200 i budgeted for 100 yes i was my stubborn self i was actually budgeting for 50 50 on both sides but my mom had plans so i ended up budgeting for 100 people and um yeah that was we're not too tight because some of us don't have six packs so we're not, we are now about to work towards that so i you know prior because of my sickness i had bloated in some parts as well so i felt like a fitting gown those mermaid gowns wouldn't you know do for me so i had to opt for a ball gown but in a very regal way 
so she put together something very nice for me and it was mwah, simply beautiful yeah simply beautiful i mean i was touched you know we went through like you know what i loved about the process was so after we spoke i went in for like i gave her the idea then we went in for sample gown fitting yes she offers sample gown fittings so there should show you what kind of fabric she's going to use for the gown and the outcome so i saw it and i liked it and i was like okay you know then we booked for the next fitting before the final fitting and every process was just magical because for everything we had to change something add something you know and all of that so when the final thing came out it was perfect exactly what i imagined also pretty under 2000 ghana cities so if 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 you're looking for a gown charlie even talk talk to the person you know talk to them and always come to an understanding as well for me mine was under 2k for the gown which was extremely good as well so yeah there are affordable options for gown you don't have to do a five like a, an expensive gown because truth is you're going to wear it just once I have not been able to wear mine anymore. I'm even going to deconstruct it and use it for like a nice outfit by Afromod again. So coming for you, Afromod. You know, so you don't want to waste so much money. If you have money to spend, Charlie, why not? Go all in. I mean, it's your day. Anything that will make you happy. But if you really want to plan a budget wedding, please, please, please look for stuff that are within your budget. You know, so for my gown, it was not above it was not <coughs> it was not above two two thousand i will not lie it was be between thousand to you know that area and so um yeah i hope that helped that with my kente for the engagement um african designed it i loved african mwah, mwah, mwah. gosh he <laughs> he went according to my timing i had no time so he would come to my office for fittings and all of those things. We we'll change in the washroom and all of that. And Nana gave me, I paid close to nothing. I will not lie. I paid close to nothing for that. I only paid for workmanship for his, his boys. <coughs> you know, and I'm grateful for that as well because he's somebody I actually love. I, I, I'll do anything for that guy. You know, and we've worked together for over the years. So... And he came, like, the finishing was amazing. The gown was amazing, basically. Also helped to cut my cost, so I didn't have to pay a lot for the gown. For my hair, my sister-in-law does hair. Um, so for both wedding and engagement, I paid nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. This girl is so blessed. Because <laughs> I prayed for it. <laughs> You know, so I paid nothing as well for the um, hair for my engagements. I just bought the gel and the styling gel and the hair pieces that she would use. And she slayed my hair. My engagement hair was beautiful. It was so beautiful. Like, it was... We saw, we saw it on Instagram. You know, my friend Lamisi saw it. I think I saw it and I said, Lamisi, or one of... Yeah. So we're like, okay... My style, you know, my style wasn't sure. But one thing I love about her is, like, she's very confident. <laughs> you know, like, she'll tell you, no, I don't know how to do it. So she would drop, she would do it. So she was very confident about the whole thing. You know, we like, we. So she tried it, and the first and the first half didn't work. So I was like, oh, I don't think it did. So she starts like this and come this way and do this thing, and it was beautiful. The outcome was amazing. I was like, what? What did we just do? I think we used the Gorilla Gel, Echo Styler, Ultra, um, Darling Afro Kinky to do that. Then for the wedding, we used Darling Afro Kinky as well and my hairpiece. My hairpiece, I got it for, I think, 120 Ghana CDs from some store around Adenta. You know, so as much as possible, look for affordable options. Earrings, I had very affordable options as well for my friends, which was not above 20 Ghana CDs. Not even... I think some was like 15 to this, you know, then my pearls was close to nothing, you know. So I'm a big, like, I'm a big fan of budget.
because my husband taught me you know so that was it for the hair makeup oh my gosh that too i paid nothing thanks to lamisi so lamisi makeup artistry is a friend and she's a good makeup artist an amazing makeup artist and she did it for me for free guys like if i had to pay i'm not sure i would have been able to pay for that you know but lamisi did and she did an amazing job as well on my face you know and so as much as possible look around for people who can genuinely help you genuinely is a key word here so that they don't have to go and stand anywhere and embarrass you or say stuff about you but yeah for me i was blessed to have had help helpers so when you're about to when you're about to get married remember that you don't have to stress your husband to to to, to pay for stuff that you can equally sort out yes it's a marriage between two people it's not a marriage for one person so do not put all the pressure on the guy to pay for everything i mean how would you feel if you know that your husband is also you know he's forceful potential but he's not extremely wealthy like bill bill gates wealthy or has like a family um family legacy you know something that's already there established you know that he can just easily tap into for you my dear if you are marrying somebody who is working really hard and extremely hard to make you happy please <laughs> let your let your let your mind be at home you know and support in any way you can as well because even that affords you some respect you know it brings you some respect i mean yeah yeah it means that well you can also take care of your own things <laughs> yes so yeah not all the pressure onto the guy there's some things that tell it totally unrelated to him and you shouldn't you shouldn't stress him out with that as well so that was for the makeup bit for my shoes ha 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 my 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 friend got me some really nice shoes i think i saw it on instagram I think he gave it to me for 90 CDs. Was really nice. That was my wedding shoe. <coughs> my engagement shoes, my girls went to buy it in Accra. I'm not sure the cost, but it wasn't even up to 100 CDs as well. You know, oh, remember all of these things, you're possibly wearing them once. So, no need to stress. No need to stress, please. No need to stress. Do, do not be pressured by what you're seeing on Instagram. Do not be pressure let me tell you if you don't know right some of these extremely huge weddings are being fully paid and fully funded by rich men or by after marriage and you're not able to pay up the loan your husband went in for that's under pressure do not pressure yourself do not pressure yourself or let's move on before i get all emotional so for my shoes yes yeah, sorted out as well what else um photography yes photography thank god for help us like i'll say <laughs> so my husband spoke to his friend qp who gave us an amazing discount the guy is an amazing photographer like his photos are out of this world they are this is all all his photos tell a story and qp is selfless you know his work ethics are on point qp photography i would put all of their vendors names in the com um, the description bar so that you can follow them and look at their works but qp's works are flawless his photos tell a story they're not just bland wedding photos every 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 shot has something to tell so qp helped us with an amazing discount and um we appreciated him he he did so much for us as well videos shot by excelsis my own friend obi <laughs> yes yeah, so obi gave me a huge discount as well guys do not envy me do not envy me here but obi gave me a big discount um, and he shot my video he shot my engagement he shot my wedding as well thank you so much obi for um that i am eternally grateful as well guy at this point you know at this point ah uh, every every bit of my wedding was like it was helped i will not lie you know and funny enough 
I didn't even see that coming. Like, I'm now looking back and I'm like, girl, you got so much help. You know, you got so much help. And it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. You know, um, so that was, that's for like the photos and the videos. For um, DJ, <coughs> so we had this area guy to DJ the wedding, the engagement, and he was extremely good. So my husband was like, okay, why not? Uh, use him for the wedding because Charlie at this point the money was finishing very fast like so okay I was like okay yeah 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 sort it out what if I just I don't mind as long as some music can play you know I don't really mind he should just sort it out and so yes he did a friend of mine also came Reggie and he came to play alongside you know during the wedding process the reception so yes there was some music as well um what am I leaving our cake? So my husband's friend bakes and um, he spoke to her. She gave us a discount on the cake as well. Ah, beautiful cake. I think it was a three layer. Three layer or four layer? I don't remember. My husband is not here for me to ask. <laughs> three layer or four layer cake. Very affordable as well. Also, we didn't pay up to a thousand for that cake. You know, we didn't pay up to a thousand for that cake. I had local bars set up by my sister-in-law. Yo, guys. My fellow, she's, she's jack of all things. <laughs> so after doing my hair, she went to set up a local bar. I paid like the six hundred CDs for um four different drinks, and mwah, everybody loved it. Everybody loved the pom wine. I heard the pom wine was great, and I I made her do peppered chicken wings as well, all under a budget. You know, I think the peppered chicken was like I gave her hundred CDs for that as well. You know, so really you can manipulate everything remember that too and um do not do not stress your husband over that for cars as well my husband's friend had cars so yeah that was what we used the church we paid for the auditorium yes we paid for the auditorium because i mean it's a big church ac electricity maintenance so we had to pay for the church as well um what else we didn't we didn't have anything flashy we didn't ha hire any musician yeah we didn't really do like all those things that people do on Instagram just because I was I, like I said it was a wedding on a budget and I was not ready to spend that much you know when I know that later on I'll be crying <laughs> plus <coughs> Uh, through the process I got a new job so it helped to offset the cost as well I don't know if you remember but I told you I was at home by our living room um, I haven't had time to put in everything yet but so far it's perfect just as it is as the day goes by we'll keep adding elements and elements here I might not even be shooting in this room I might, I might be shooting in one of the rooms they're not ready yet Um, we have things packed in there that we've not had time to you know arrange so i might be shooting in the other room but for now i shoot in the living room um so yeah that's i think that is it right that is it and and yeah supportive friends my girls were amazing they would go to town for me they would go to town and they would video call me you know in the office to choose what i wanted they would go up and down ensuring that everything was okay we had a disappointment with their bridesmaids dresses yes and another thing be careful of instagram vendors not all of them are real as they they come out to be so we had like bridesmaid issues with their dresses so i had to you know buy a new fabric for them and make sure that another person executes their dresses in less than 24 hours it was very stressful as well um my second dress gosh how can i forget my second dress <laughs> by black pearl sarong it was also free as well um free free i didn't pay anything for that free <laughs> so as much as possible make sure that everything is within your your reach if you can find somebody who can do a decor for you for five thousand why not it doesn't change anything you know food for three thousand why not it doesn't change anything also make sure that you have someone who's checking the crowd level for you 
my friends were amazing coordinators so to ensure that everybody was okay everybody had eaten everybody was happy you know <coughs> so it, it took a lot of pressure off me because I didn't have to worry about anybody and my family my sisters were amazing my brothers were amazing they were helping serve the drinks and all of that so yeah that was also very cool sorry I have a flu so yeah that was also really helpful find helpers let your first point of call be your family I always say that if you want a loan why not from family the people around you you know use the people around you if, if you cannot afford a planner write everything out so I had it like I had a, a notebook where I wrote everything and how I wanted it and prior to the day I just handed it over to the coordinator to look through in case of anything you know you can plan it by yourself it's possible don't get swayed don't get really don't get swayed by all what is happening on Instagram that you want your stuff to trend so you dear that's all you're fixated on trending 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 here and there trending here and then there. Charlie, there's life after the trending you know there's so much after the trending people will not remember anything like I said earlier so really do not kill yourself for others and do not kill yourself for people as well so I hope you enjoyed this chatting session um, if you have any questions kindly drop them in the comment section and I'll reply um, it was good actually it was good so we'll do this again based on the questions you asked me um, I'll do well to talk about it and I would upload my final wedding videos for you guys to also see as well it was beautiful um, thank you so much and I hope that your wedding planning process will be easy if you have any thoughts or anything you want to share with me do not hesitate to get in touch with me via my social media and I might I, I'll, I'll be of help to you if you have anything to ask me do not hesitate and I'll be of help, of help to you if you're a future bride planning your wedding I wish you well and I hope that you have fun and I really hope that you plan the wedding according to your budget um, and and just just do what you and your husband can afford as well so i'll see you later <laughs> i'll see you later i hope you enjoyed this video and god bless take care bye 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 i'm back <laughs> take care